Today, I'm gonna to be making some Betty Crocker apple brown sugar cookies. Uh, these are limited edition. We found this package at Meyer. It was only $2, which I don't think is bad. And all you have to do is you have to add one stick of softened butter and one egg. So the first thing you want to do is you want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees. You can see I have a cookie sheet here. I've covered it in parchment paper. Uh, so you don't have to use parchment paper, uh, but you can. And so you open this up and I could use scissors, but that's okay. You don't have to use scissors, clearly. Pour your mix in a medium sized bowl. And then you're going to uh, mix in your softened butter and your egg. to drop on our cookie sheet and I am going to use a uh, cookie scoop and uh, if you want to make smaller cookies you can drop them on your uh, cookie sheet by the teaspoonful I can't even imagine um, having the cookies that small uh, but if you want larger cookies uh, it says to go by the tablespoonful. So since I'm using um, a cookie scoop, I'm going to assume that this is a good tablespoon. So the, the times are different. If you, for a smaller cookie, you want to bake these for 9 to 11 minutes. And then for the larger cookie, like what I'm making, you're going to bake them for 10 to 12 minutes. So... I figured I would set my timer for um, 11 minutes and check on them and, and see if they're done at that time. So I'm just going to keep uh, filling this up, fill up my cookie sheet, and I'm going to put these in the oven and we'll be back. brown sugar and it says limited edition so I'm assuming that they're out for the fall although uh, we started seeing fall stuff way back probably in July and I did not see these until very very recently in our area so they might may have been out for months in other areas and I just never saw them but they do have dried apples in the ingredients but they also have cinnamon <laughs> So, they smell good. They do. Um, I should tell you the calories, I guess. Of course, this means nothing, you, you know, unless you weigh them. Uh, it says three tablespoons of the mix, 28 grams makes two cookies, and prepared, that's about 160 calories. And these are uh, nice and thick, aren't they? Mm -hmm. I like the texture of the apple. I love a warm cookie. Mm -hmm. Nothing better than a warm cookie. Mm -hmm. They, um, to me, they, the mix itself smelled like molasses, and it kind of tastes to me like molasses, mm -hmm. but it never much. mentioned molasses in the ingredients. No. I mean, it, you can tell that on molasses, not dark, but... But the, it um, said... And I do kind of get that flavor, but I think that's the apple and the brown sugar. Uh-huh. It said cinnamon. I really... I'm not, I get a touch of brown. Uh, oh, cinnamon. But yeah, I'm not, not getting cinnamon. No. It's mostly apple and just yes. sugar. But it is a good cookie. It is good. And I like the chewiness of the apple pieces. Mm -hmm. They kind of got a little chew to them. Yes. And it, it said if you wanted to make small cookies, to use... Um, put them on the cookie sheet by the, uh, t by the teaspoon. That can be a little big cookies. It would be teeny, 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 tiny mini cookies. I just can't imagine. Unless have a lot you, of them. It, yeah, you have a lot of them, but really, I think this is the perfect size. That is a good size. 
It's a very good size. And they're kind of thick in the middle. Yes, it makes a really nice cookie. So this is a good a good mix mm -hmm. uh, from Betty Crocker. It's not my favorite mix ever. No, but um, if you like apples, I think you'll like them. Yeah, I do think these have a really nice apple flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.